Today we continue Glass Expansion's High Performance Sample Introduction System webinar series with Part 2, a highlight of our aqueous High Performance Sample Introduction System for the Thermo Fisher Scientific Pro Radial and Duo ICP OES. In case you missed Part 1 and our introduction, Glass Expansion has organized a series of dedicated high performance sample introduction systems to maximize performance and minimize downtime. In our high performance sample introduction system webinar series, you will learn how to make the right choice to get the best results and reduce operating costs while minimizing downtime. You can also find all current and past webinars along with the accompanying application notes at geicp.com slash hp dash sis. You can also subscribe to Glass Expansion's mailing list for regular updates to our HP dash sis webinar release schedule. Today's application topic, how to achieve higher instrument performance with your routine aqueous samples. Let's get started by taking a detailed look at each component and highlight the unique design features of Glass Expansion's aqueous HP-SIS for the Thermo Fisher Scientific Pro Radial and Duo ICP OES. A number of ICP manufacturers select the Sea Spray Nebulizer as part of their standard configuration due to its excellent sensitivity and combined tolerance to dissolve solids. The unique polished tip of the sea spray provides a self-washing design, offering freedom from clogging while nebulizing solutions upwards of 20% total dissolved solids, while at the same time providing excellent efficiency and sensitivity for trace level analyses. The sea spray nebulizer is most often the best choice when samples containing a high concentration of dissolved solids. Seawater, brines, plating baths, lithium salts are just a few examples of sea spray applications. However, the sea spray is also the optimum choice for many ICP applications due to its well-rounded overall performance and excellent efficiency. And that is the reason we have selected the sea spray for our aqueous HP SIS to achieve the best possible sensitivity. Now let's take a closer look at the unique design features of Glass Expansion Sea Spray Nebulizer. All glass concentric nebulizers from Glass Expansion feature our unique vitricone sample capillary. The Glass Expansion vitricone sample capillary is entirely different from its competitors, which use a hand-drawn glass sample capillary. In comparison, the vitricone is machined from a thick-walled glass capillary providing a highly reproducible geometry and constant internal diameter from sample inlet to tip, resulting in the highest and tightest manufacturing tolerances possible and ensuring consistent analytical performance from one nebulizer to the next. In 2016, Glass Expansion introduced the Direct Connect DC gas line, providing an upgrade to our U-Series nebulizer product line with an inert metal-free IC specific gas line and ratchet click and seal fitting. All DC nebulizer models also include our trademark UniFit sample connector, which easily slides over the sample arm of the nebulizer, creating an excellent seal and zero dead volume sample connection. Also unique to the sea spray as mentioned previously is the polished self-washing tip. The DC design provides a significant improvement to the nebulizer gas connection, which helps to maintain optimum back pressure for consistent day-to-day -day nebulizer performance. The reliable ratchet click and seal DC fitting to the nebulizer gas arm ensures a leak-free gas connection by clicking or ratcheting when a proper seal has been achieved and preventing over tightening. At the other end of the DC gas line is an ICP specific quick connect to the argon gas supply. And here's an example of our DCC spray nebulizer installed on the ICAP Pro Duo. 
The DC gas line replaces the original rigid gas line with a more reliable and flexible gas line. In addition to great sensitivity and performance, you are also getting unmatched quality and precision engineering with glass expansion C-Spray DC Nebulizer. The unique design features make the C-Spray DC Nebulizer easier to install and more reliable for consistent performance. Now that we have selected our nebulizer for aqueous HP-SIS, let's discuss our spray chamber options. For routine aqueous samples, with the goal of achieving the best sensitivity, we choose the Tracy. The Tracy is a single pass cyclonic spray chamber and noticeably different from the twister design, which features a central baffle. With routine aqueous samples, we do not need to be concerned with the matrix effects from high concentrations of dissolved solids. We want to maximize the efficiency of sample transport and washout. And with no hydrofluoric acid present, we can use a glass or quartz spray chamber. Now let's take a closer look at the unique design features of Glass Expansion's Tracy Cyclonic Spray Chamber. The design of Glass Expansion Cyclonic Spray Chambers help the ICP analysts achieve sensitivity gains, reduce washout times, and reduce matrix effects not possible with other designs. An indented groove is built into the top of the spray chamber and serves as a barrier preventing solution from being swept into the torch. The position and depth of this groove are critical. The Helix CT fitting is carefully designed to fix the depth of penetration and torque of the nebulizer seal so that the aerosol produced is optimal. The Helix CT interface is also the only true zero dead volume nebulizer spray chamber interface providing unmatched washout efficiency. All pumped spray chambers include glass expansion's Unifit connector and capillary for smooth and efficient draining. And finally, the walls of the chamber have a vertical region. This is important for proper aerosol generation and affects transport efficiency to the torch. The Helix CT locking screw and seal uses a constant torque ratchet mechanism to provide a zero dead volume gas tight seal between the nebulizer and spray chamber for consistent ICP performance. Why is constant torque an important feature of glass expansion spray chambers? Well, ICP sensitivity is affected by both nebulizer depth within the spray chamber and the torque applied to the nebulizer seal. The data shown here highlights the effects of torque applied to the nebulizer seal versus the observed sensitivity. The applied torque was increased incrementally. As the torque applied to the nebulizer seal increased, the sensitivity decreased on average by 5%, with the greatest difference being 10%. The new Helix CT locking screw is set to the optimum torque and will seal the press fit PTFE ferrule against the nebulizer seal to the same torque each day. The combination of the positive stop, which fixes the depth of the nebulizer, and the torque control allows the ICP analyst to achieve the same nebulizer performance every day. In addition to optimum sensitivity, the analytical benefits of the Helix CT interface include superior washout, the Helix CT interface is also the only zero dead volume spray chamber interface available, providing superior washout, especially for elements that are prone to carryover. Inert and O-ring free. The Helix CT is a chemically inert seal immune to strong acids and organic solvents, eliminating all the drawbacks of an O-ring seal. This also improves user safety. These design innovations have provided the Tracy Cyclonic Spray Chamber sensitivity gains, reduced washout times, and reduce matrix effects not possible with other spray chambers. Now that we have our nebulizer and spray chamber, this brings us to the torch. The ICP OES torch is typically the most often replaced and a higher annual consumable cost. Many ICP OES manufacturers have moved away from a single piece torch to a demountable torch for this reason. A semi-demountable torch also provides the ICP laboratory with more flexibility, having a variety of different injector options. 
Glass Expansion's patented D-Torch is a high-performance and economical alternative to the standard EMT torch. The D-Torch, often referred to as a super torch by our customers, incorporates a ceramic intermediate tube for greater robustness and provides the analyst with an outer tube that can be replaced when it fails rather than replacing the entire torch body. The D-Torch also features an interchangeable injector allowing the analyst to install a specific injector for each application, whether it be for aqueous, organics, high salts, or hydrofluoric acid. All EMT injectors are also compatible with our Pro Radial and Duo D-Torch. Each glass expansion D-Torch design is a direct replacement for the standard torch. Just like the EMT design, the D-Torch model is designed with a base that provides the same self-aligning turnkey installation. Glass Expansion pioneered the design of ceramic torches more than 20 years ago. Using a ceramic outer tube on your ICP torch provides a hotter, more robust plasma, which reduces matrix effects and improves sensitivity and detection limits. Compared to a quartz outer tube, the ceramic outer tube has a much longer lifetime, greatly reducing maintenance and downtime due to torch failure. Today, a fully ceramic D-Torch is available for a wide range of ICP models, including Agilent, Perkin Elmer, Spectro, and Thermo Fisher Scientific. We have selected the fully ceramic D-Torch for our aqueous HP-SIS with a 2 mm ID quartz injector to achieve optimum sensitivity and detection limits. Most ICP laboratories use an internal standard to compensate for interferences and enhance both short-term and long-term reproducibility. Glass Expansion's new Trident CT provides an easy and accurate solution for dosing all of your samples with internal standard without extra effort or the risk of error or contamination. The Trident CT is installed in between the nebulizer and peristaltic pump. The kit is completely modular so that worn components can easily be replaced. With each treading kit is a compact, efficient mixing chamber, which ensures complete mixing of the sample and reagent. The use of inert, metal-free CT ratchet fittings with our new Trident CT mixing chamber provides simple-to-use, leak-free connections for the internal standard and sample every time. Glass Expansions dilution calculator helps you quickly determine the dilution factor when using the Trident inline reagent kit based on the peristaltic pump tubing that is installed. In this specific example, we have selected black black, which has an internal diameter of 0.76 millimeters for the sample tubing and orange blue, which has an internal diameter of 0.25 millimeters for the internal standard tubing. With our Trident dilution calculator, we can quickly determine that our sample is diluted by approximately 10%. You can use the drop-down menu to select various combinations to easily calculate your desired dilution factor. Now that we have completed the selection of our aqueous HP SIS, let's take a look at the results we acquired using our Thermo Fisher Scientific ICAP Pro Duo ICP OES. First, we looked at the sensitivity of the standard aqueous SIS relative to glass expansions aqueous HP-SIS with a relative sensitivity equal to one. The data collected shows the relative sensitivity is improved by an average of 30% using glass expansions HP-SIS combination of the C-spray DC nebulizer, Tracy with Helix CT cyclonic spray chamber and fully ceramic D-Torch. The best indicator of analytical detectability for ICP OES using a solid state detector is the signal to root background ratio. Similar to what was observed when comparing sensitivity, the C spray DC nebulizer, Tracy with Helix CT cyclonic spray chamber, and fully ceramic D torch provide a 25% average improvement in the signal to root background ratio compared to the standard aqueous SIS. Before we conclude our webinar, we wanted to provide some helpful product care and maintenance tips to help maximize the lifetime and performance of your glass expansion HP-SIS. Nebulizer maintenance practices to avoid. 
Do not insert anything through the orifice of the nebulizer, including wires and probes. This is most likely to damage the nebulizer beyond repair. Never touch the nebulizer tip. Any deposit of body oils can have a detrimental effect on the performance of the nebulizer. Do not use any concentration of hydrofluoric acid to clean a glass or quartz nebulizer. Even dilute hydrofluoric acid can alter the orifice of the internal capillary and deteriorate the performance of the nebulizer. Do not place a glass nebulizer in an ultrasonic bath as it may dislodge the internal capillary. And lastly, do not use a hot liquid to flush the sample capillary of an inert nebulizer. The temperature can potentially deform the capillary and affect nebulizer performance. The LEO nebulizer cleaning tool is designed efficiently to deliver a cleaning solution through the nebulizer capillary to dislodge particle buildup and thoroughly clean the nebulizer. We suggest using Glass Expansion's LEO Nebulizer Cleaner regularly to maintain nebulizer performance and prolong nebulizer life. Shown here is our LEO Nebulizer Cleaning Tool for all of our glass concentric nebulizers, including the sea spray. With regards to your spray chamber maintenance, with your glass or quartz spray chamber, hydrofluoric acid should never be used. Do not sonicate the glass or quartz spray chamber, and do not use a metal or ceramic brush to try to clean the surface. All of these techniques will likely damage or break your spray chamber. For good measure, always start and end an analysis by nebulizing a mildly acidic blank solution followed by DI water. If performance degrades, washout issues, or poor RSDs, and you are seeing droplets collected on the walls of the spray chamber, it's time to clean your spray chamber. You can first try nebulizing a dilute approximately 2.5% Fluca RBS 25 solution for 15 minutes, followed by DI water. If this does not recover the performance, remove all fittings from your spray chamber and soak overnight in a container of 25% Fluca RBS 25 solution. The following morning, thoroughly rinse the spray chamber with DI water. Fluca RBS 25 is a laboratory grade glassware cleaner that glass expansion sells in one liter concentrate bottles that we highly recommend to our customers and use ourselves in our R&D and QC lab for cleaning all of our sample introduction components, including our nebulizers and spray chambers. Last bit of advice, every glass expansion spray chamber has consumable parts. While the spray chamber itself will last a very long time with good care, the Helix CT seal and Unifit drain lines should be checked and regularly replaced when necessary, approximately every six months. For those ICP laboratories that require the utmost performance in an aqueous sample introduction system, Glass Expansion's high performance combination of the Sea Spray DC Nebulizer, Tracy with Helix CT Cyclonic Spray Chamber, and Fully Ceramic D-Torch is the optimal choice. The results presented in this webinar indicate that the sensitivity and signal to root background ratio are both improved by an average of 30 and 25% respectively with glass expansion's aqueous high performance sample introduction system. In addition, glass expansion's products provide unique trademark design features such as the vitrochrome sample capillary, direct connect gas line, helix CT interface, and fully ceramic detorch which are far superior to the standard aqueous sample introduction system. Thank you all for your time today. If you have any questions or are interested in a quote, you can contact one of our three offices directly. We also have a global distribution network that can be found on the Glass Expansion website. And remember to subscribe to our mailing list for regular updates on our high performance sample introduction system webinar series. You can always visit geicp.com slash hp-sis for updates. Thank you again.